going to talk about Atmosy tonight. Um, apps, everyone, almost everyone tonight, has talked something about an app. The reality is there's a lot of apps out there. There are 700,000 apps on iOS. There are 700,000 more apps on Android. There's Amazon. There's Windows Mobile. There's BlackBerry. I think there's some BlackBerry, right? Uh, <laughs> behind all of these developers, or behind all of these apps, are developers. Developers all who have the same goal in mind. Money. They want to make some money from developing apps. They saw some guy make a fart app, that fart app made a million dollars. They said, huh, I think it's better than that. But with all of these apps out there, there's a problem. And that problem is discoverability. How do you stand out and get found amongst 1.4 million plus applications out there? So there's a lot of ways to do this. There's, there's advertising, okay, but one of the nice things about apps was, hey, I get to I get to play on the same platform as people like EA and uh, Google who's putting out their apps. We're all in the same store, we're all doing the same thing. Well, guess what? They have a whole lot more advertising money than we do. So advertising, not so great. Um, social media, well, social media's good. It's cheap, it's free, um, but it's probably slow, right? So it takes a while building up a social channel. Um, so what's left? Well, Generally, and a lot of what we do is public relations. <coughs> public relations, getting app reviews, getting uh, the press interested in your product. Um, but again, with public relations, we have another built-in problem, which is it takes a lot of time and effort to do the research. Who do I pitch? Um, do they cover apps? Do they cover my kind? You know, uh, what, what's their lead? What's the reporter's name? What's their contact information? Now, this is this is a problem with all PR, but in apps specifically, you also have to figure out, well, do they even cover apps? Uh, what device do they have? How do I know what you know device some press person who covers cooking at the New York Times has? Uh, what operating system? Well, what we've done, uh, or what, what's generally done, is people take the easy way out. They get a newswire. They say, I'm going to upload my press release, my press release being kind of the least common denominator of the PR world, and I'm going to send it out on a newswire. Um, well, sending it out on Newswire generally is this approach. It's the shotgun approach. I'm going to send it all out there, and I'm going to hope that my press release happens to get to, you know, say I have a cooking app, and it happens to get to that one cooking reporter who happens to also have an iPad, because mine's an iPad app, it's not the Android app. Um, but that same reporter, because they're getting press releases from, say, Business Wire all day long, I mean, oh, that's not interesting, this is not interesting, that's not interesting. It's not targeted enough to the reporter themselves. You might as well get up on the roof and start shouting about your app. That's where mobile pitch comes in. Mobile pitch, there we go. Mobile pitch is a newswire specifically tailored for the mobile industry. Um, it covers everything from apps to mobile products, mobile websites, mobile associations. But the nice thing about it is Take that same picture of reporters. You've got a whole big grouping of reporters you're trying to get your press release out to. What Mobile Pitch does is first, it knows what device all of these reporters have. Through the opt-in process, we get reporters to come in, they express, hey, I'm a cooking writer, but I happen to have an iPhone and an iPad, and my husband happens to have an Android, so here's the devices that I actually have access to. We then say, okay, we know what you write about. We know what beat you cover, um, so that when we send the press release out to you, every single time you get a press release as a reporter, it's not going to be on a device that you don't have. It's not going to be about a topic that you don't happen to cover, which means that when you get that press release to you, you are 10 times more likely to actually open it, look at it, and read it, because you know, as a reporter, it is relevant to you. We also have the ability, um, say a reporter goes, and I don't know why anyone would ever do this, but they switch from iPhone to Android. Well, Mobile Pitch is able to detect that by looking at the browser when they open something up on their phone and make sure they still only get the appropriate information sent to them. Appropriate information leads to happy reporters. Happy reporters write more articles. More articles mean more downloads. More downloads <coughs> mean more money for developers. That's Mobile Pitch. Thank you.